Hey guys, this is MJ Ved with another tutorial whether how we can apply discounts to purchase orders in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, getting discount is always tempting as it helps you save some money which can be reinvested in other areas of the business. Anyhow, before applying discounts to purchase orders, we need to set up terms and discounts so that we can track it properly. Now let's set up terms and to set up terms go to list and select terms list under customer and vendor profile list and by default QuickBooks has already set up some terms for us but to make it clear I'm creating one so click on terms and select new here add net days and then add the number of days a discount is being offered for and if we pay within these certain days we will receive a certain percentage as discount and then give it a name and then click on OK and here you can see a new term has been set up now let's search discount and here you can see that an item named discount showed up which we have created in our previous tutorial when we were talking about customer discount I will mention the link of the tutorial in the description for your convenience Anyhow, since this tutorial is about vendor discounts, we will set up a new discount account that will help us track the discount we will receive from our vendors. So go to chart of accounts to see if we already have one. Here we have only one cost of goods sold accounts which we sure can use, but to track the discount properly, I'm going to set up one. So click on account and select new. And it's your discretion whether you want to track it as an expense account or a cost of goods sold account. Well, I'm going to track it as a cost of goods sold account because the services I'm going to buy are actually the ones we offer. So in other words, I'm just subcontracting the services. That's why I'm tracking it as a cost of goods sold account. So click on this drop down and select cost of goods sold and then click on continue. Well, since the services I'm going to buy are actually being subcontracted, that's why I'm going to create a couple of accounts. The first one is subcontracts. And instead of clicking on save and close, I'm going to click on save and new so that I can create the other ones right away. Well, the services I'm going to buy are actually the design services. So I'm going to create an account named design income. You can name it whatever you want and make it a sub account of subcontracts. Now click on save and new and create a new account named discount received and make it a sub account of either subcontracts or design income and to keep it simple I'm making it a sub account of subcontracts and then click on save and close and here you can see that our accounts have been set up. Now let's apply discount while creating purchase order. So go to purchase order and select your vendor. and then add some items and here you can see that as soon as I try to add an item QuickBooks gave me a prompt mentioning that this item is associated with an income account do you want to continue well since we are going to subcontract it we need to check it whether it's been set up for subcontracting or not so close the purchase order and go to items and services and then double click on the service you want to subcontract and then click on this checkbox which says this service is used in assemblies or is performed by a subcontractor or partner this is exactly what we wanted so write the cost you will bear by subcontracting this service and to track it select the design income account which we have created as a cost of goods sold account and also you sure can select a preferred vendor but for now I'm not going to and then write the description if you want and then click on OK and then click on Yes. Now we have just set it up as a service that can be subcontracted too and let's set up a couple more. Now we have just set up a few services that can be subcontracted. And now let's create a purchase order. 
So go to purchase order and select a vendor. And here you can see that ship to address is showing the address of our fictitious customer, which you sure can change by selecting the customer here. Now add some items and subtotal. And then record the purchase order by clicking on save and close after making some changes according to your needs. Now click on the receive inventory and since it was a service and the designs will be sent to the customer directly, select receive inventory without bill. Here select the vendor and as soon as you will select a vendor, QuickBooks will give you a prompt that this vendor has an open purchase order. Do you want to receive against one or more of these? Well yes, we want to. So click on yes. And it will open a small window where QuickBooks will show all the open purchase orders against this vendor. Just select the one you want and click on OK. It will populate it with the particulars of the selected purchase order. And here you can see there is check mark as available items which means QuickBooks will track it as an outstanding billable items. And will show us when we will create an invoice against this customer. Anyhow, here under expenses tab, we can add the discount we received after doing some negotiations. So select your discount account and add your discount amount negatively. And here you can see that the bill amount has decreased from 450 to 400. And then click on save and close to record it. And then go to enter bills against inventory. And as soon as you will select the vendor, it will show the bills. Just select it and click on OK. And here you can see that everything has been populated again. Just make some changes if there is a need or click on save and close to record the bill. Now the bill has been created and to pay it just go to pay bills. And if you find a long list of bills here, just filter it by selecting the vendor here. And here you may have observed that no discount information is being provided and it's just because that the discount has been applied while creating the bill. And if you want to see the bill, just click on go to bill and it will take you to the concerned bill. So select the bank account here you want to use to make payment of this bill and then click on pay selected bill to pay it. Here QuickBooks is just providing you with some summary of this payment where you will have options to pay more bills or print checks. And for the time being, I'm just closing it. And this is how you can apply discounts to purchase orders in QuickBooks Desktop. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.